going to the airport. I haven't been on an airplane in quite a while. We're gonna do something really fun after dinner. We do dumb things sometimes. And there were four of us, and none of us thought that we should do that. Four dumb people flying down the zip line. Stacy's getting us lost. That's not a new thing. It was neat. It was a fun little romantic little outing for us. A little romance with Phil and Stacy. Romance. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going back there, fellas? Oh. All right. Ch Chad's <laughs> making all kinds of noise. Chad's just mad because he didn't get to see the topless lady. <laughs> Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. And it was time to go onto the strip. You gotta Ready? go to the you gotta go to the strip. You gotta go. The first stop was the Venetian. Neither one of us had ever been there before. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get out and explore today. Our first stop is the Venetian. We wanna find out what's the deal with the gondola rides because you have to reserve it in person here. Yeah. So we're gonna go in there and find that out first. And then we're gonna just start walking around. It was a nice air conditioned indoor gondola ride. <laughs> yeah. They actually offer two types of gondola rides. One is inside where you go through the, the shops and mm -hmm. stuff. And then they do offer one that's outside. But again, it was just blazing hot mm -hmm. and we did not want to sit out on a boat. We don't want to be outside. Outside nope. during the day, 120 degrees. This place is massive. I think it's the, the what, second largest Crazy. property in the whole world or something. Oh yeah, you can get lost in just the Venetian. It's insanely huge. We walked around, walked through the shops, walked through the casino part, got a little lost. We finally found it and we made our reservations. It was a neat little ride. It was shorter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was cute. It was a short little ride, maybe 10 minutes max, if that. Something we'd never done before. Our gondolier was Marco and he was great. He said he started doing it when he was in college. 20 years later, he's still doing it. How long do you have to go to rowing school to figure this thing out? For two weeks. Oh, <laughs> what? I think our training should be a reality TV show. <laughs> I think you might be right. We're all singing it's in the middle of the night. Do you do it here and in the middle of the night? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes, from midnight until 8 a.m. Oh yeah. Wow. Yes. It's really? Kind of crazy. Yes. All the buildings are are replicas true to size, so that's pretty cool. That's cool. It was neat. It was a fun little romantic little outing for us. A little romance with Phil and Stacy. Romance. <laughs> <laughs> After that, we just kind of explored and walked around a little bit outside. I am so glad we didn't do the outdoor one. Yeah, it's really hot out here. Yeah. And it doesn't really do much, but just kind of go around and then down and around. Over and back. It'd be it'd probably really nice at night though. I think at night with all the lights and stuff, it'd probably be oh, pretty yeah. cool. And you can pop in and out of the different casinos and stuff, which we did to cool off. And you know, you can kind of walk down the strip, making your way through the casinos inside as much as possible. Be prepared to walk a lot. Yes. Yeah, you might look like that casino's right there, but it's probably a 40 minute walk. Stacy's getting us lost. That's not a new thing. Phil said it's not a real trip unless you have to make a YouTube. At trip. least one, if not two. Yeah. How's it going back here, fellas? 
Oh. All right, Ch Chad is <laughs> making all kinds of noise. Chad's just mad because he didn't get to see the topless lady. We definitely wanted to see the fountain at Bellagio. Again, another thing, something I had never seen. Really? I've seen it on pictures and I've seen it from far away and driving by it, but I've never been there. Oh, stood interesting. There and at no, I have. And they're still playing the same song that they played like 20 years ago when I saw it the last time. <laughs> so it was interesting. Before we watched the fountains of the Bellagio, we were inside the Bellagio and we got to walk through their botanical gardens and that was, that was beautiful. Really cool. It was um, it's amazing. It seemed to me kind of like a fantasy land. It was just beautiful. Unfortunately, we were filming with our phones and we didn't have the newer phones that filmed well at night. We also had GoPros and you know, that stuff doesn't do that well in lower light. So the footage doesn't look that great, yeah. but trust me, it was spectacular. It smells really good in here too, all the flowers. Yeah, it's so pretty. The next day was a Sunday and we actually did a live stream on YouTube that day. Mm -hmm. But because we were in the Pacific time zone, three hours behind Eastern, we were done by like, I don't know, five or six o'clock our time zone. Mm -hmm. And we got Phil and Stacy and we took an Uber to Fremont Street mm -hmm. because we had big plans that night. Just chat, just chat. Chat, chat. he wants to chat. I want to chat with you. You want to chat with me? You want to have a chat? What? What yeah. I do? So we just finished our live. We booked it down here to Fremont Street for some dinner. And then we're going to do something really fun after dinner. We don't know what restaurant yet. Oh, Heart Attack Grill. <laughs> There's a bunch of restaurants right here. We're on the corner of, this is the Fremont Street Experience and Las Vegas Boulevard. Boulevard. So we're right here on the corner. Fremont Street is really the original part of the city and was established in 1905. So the older casinos are there. There's a whole bunch of restaurants there that you can choose from, which we decided to eat at. There's a, an Irish pub there, so we just picked that place. It wasn't my cup of tea. There are a lot of performers on the street. <laughs> live performances and bands and it's, dancers. It's loud and it's crowded and it's crowded and it's loud. <laughs> yeah, if you're younger and you're into that party atmosphere still, which we were at one point, that's just not our speed anymore. No. It was fun to go see, but it's not a place we want to hang out for hours. Anymore. I'm not a big fan of large crowds and loud noises and there that's pretty much all it was but you know it was fine because i was happy to experience it once mm -hmm. now i know i don't really care to go back there our main goal for that going to that area was doing the zip line which yeah, was, that was, which that was, was awesome. really cool there are actually a couple of different zip line options in vegas one is the link which is near the strip but this one is the one in fremont street it and this is slotzilla right street yeah and slotzilla offers two experiences as well one is you're sitting up kind of like a normal zip line where you're like upright and then yep and then there's <laughs> the one that we did which you're flying like this and that was new for us because we've done quite a few zip lines, but mm -hmm. we've never done it where you're flying. And that was awesome. It's like Superman. Yeah, and you're flying straight down the street underneath all the lights and stuff. It's really, really cool. And, but over the mass of people down yeah. there. So we're in line for this thing. Zip line, superhero zip line. Yeah, the shorter one, the one you sit up is uh, half the distance of the longer one. We're doing the long one. Because one minute. We were stupid and we didn't buy the GoPro package. 
So they wouldn't let us take we were, our own GoPros. We were hoping we could sneak our own GoPros on our wrist or something, but they were like, nope. They wouldn't let us add the GoPro package on once we got there. Yeah, so, so we, we didn't do get that any. Ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get any flying footage, but they take the pictures of you as you're going. So these are the silly pictures that you're seeing right now <laughs> that we bought because we didn't get any footage of us flying on it. I mean, but this it, is only our job to get footage. I mean, well, we do dumb things sometimes. And there was four of us, and none of us thought that we should do that. Four dumb people flying down the zip line. And it was fun. It was a blast. It was really, really fun. I recommend the flying one. I think that that's really cool. You go a lot further. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember in our first Las Vegas video where we went to the Neon Boneyard? Well, Chad got to go back at night with Phil and Stacy. Yeah, Tara wasn't feeling well, so she stayed home. So we got to enjoy this ourselves and it was really, really cool to see them all lit up. Unfortunately, they don't let you take video while you're there. So the video you're seeing are stock footage from them, but you can take pictures and it's really, really cool. Going to the airport. I haven't been on an airplane in quite a while, so it's a little bit strange. <laughs> I don't prefer traveling on a plane. I don't like packing bags. I'm so used to just taking everything with us wherever we go. So used to just opening our front door and then being there. Yeah. <laughs> so Chad's dropping me off at the airport and I'm flying back to Ohio to spend the week with my mom and my brother. I finally made it. You can tell it's late. It's, let's see, 11.20 p.m. in Ohio. I am heading to the baggage claim. Get my bag and then see my mama. Until she popped out, no. Oh, but you I was like, I was. I just you were already to, recording, even though. She, yeah, I pulled the GoPro out when I got when I went to the bathroom. Password. Spliffocated. Nope. <laughs> Ring the bell again. Got new password. Spliffocated. Spliffocated. Ah. What do you say? Possible. Kidding. Y'all got it. I was like, you say it a little slower. If you remember the speakeasy from the Mom Museum. I went back there with Phil and Stacy, and we had some cocktails and a good time. Something else you guys got to do while I was in Ohio, and I was a little bit jealous that you got to go without <laughs> me, was Area 15 and doing some axe throwing. I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat. It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets. I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat. Watch out now. Baby, watch out now. Watch out. While I was in Ohio, my brother Scott and I wanted to recreate one of our old pictures. Just recreating an old family photo. Not There's in the park or anything. There's Scott not being perverted nope. in the park or anything. Nope. Your shorts in the picture were a lot shorter. Yes, I was just gonna say. And we had a great time doing this. <laughs> that picture was hilarious. We also got to spend 4th of July together, which was great. Haven't done that in a long time. And just spent time with my mom. Hey, listen, the people want to see you. The people want to see you. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. Come on, let me see it. Let me see you. And of course, had to go get some of our favorite sushi. I 
another thing that we did without Tara that she really wanted to do. So, I know, thanks so, guys. <laughs> sorry, was visit the Hoover Dam. I mean, I've been to Vegas many times and I've always wanted to see it and I finally got to. Well, you can go next time. I'll go, <laughs> I'll go with you and I'll be the experienced one. Okay. If you follow the cables to the right, you will see the lifting mechanism of the crane that is supported by the cables. Phil and Stacy and I, Tara's in Ohio, got here at about nine o'clock and it opens at eight, but that's not the way to go. You wanna probably get here right at eight. I think that's when the garage opens. Maybe you can get here a little bit earlier. The thing is you can't buy tickets online and the earliest tour that we could do at getting here at nine was 12.30. So we'd have to wait three hours anyway. So we made our reservation, our tickets for 3.30. Now we gotta leave and come back and go through security twice. Huge pain. Get here super, super early, get it out of the way, and then you won't have to worry about it. But it's pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. That's pretty cool. I don't know what to say about the Hoover Dam other than it is absolutely incredible. It's really neat to go on the tour also because they show you all the behind the scenes stuff. So this thing crosses the state line. And we've got Arizona time on this side. You can see the sign there. And over this way on that other tower, it says Nevada time. You can see the parking garage and visitor center and tours all start there. One thing that I found that was interesting about the Hoover Dam was when it was built, they built it with tourism in mind. They knew they were going to want to show this thing off. So the tour is really well done. You took a guided tour, right? Yes. And in 1931, a structure that would one day bear Hoover's name began with an explosion. There are a couple different tour options. We took the, I think it was like a combo tour, like a self-guided and guided tour. Oh, okay. Just take a look around, folks. Fix them down, photos. Our next stop on tour, we can go up and see those generators. It all just looks a bit haphazard, doesn't it? It's like, hey, uh, Phil, we got some water coming in on the roof. What do you think we should fix? <laughs> I really liked seeing those giant turbines. That was just amazing. You can see it's been in the middle. There's as much mass surrounding you right now as there is in the largest pyramid in Egypt. This tunnel's getting shorter. Ow. At one point in the tour, we got to actually go through this tube that led right out to the face of the dam and look down. It was really amazing. That is cool. So when we went down to the end of that tunnel, to the vent, 
It was actually right down here. I'll show you a close up. That's pretty cool. We have been walking around riding elevators up and down. We can't find the car. This is our third floor. <laughs> We're it done. would be fine if it wasn't 120 degrees outside. Then anyway, we could consider it our exercise. Did we, did we park down there? I it would we, have to be back that way. I thought we parked, I thought we parked up somewhere. Phil might have found the car. <laughs> that was fun. Did you have fun? That was really cool. I learned a lot. My week in Ohio was actually over and I started my long journey back to Las Vegas right after I got over my jet lag, of course. <laughs> of course. I am at Las Vegas airport, waiting to pick up my baby. Tara's been gone for a week and Daisy and I miss her. I don't know if she knows I'm gonna be down here at luggage pickup. I think I might trick her and just tell her, let me know when she gets here and I'll be outside. Nothing's gonna stop me now. I can't wait. I can't wait. I was gonna sneak around behind you. You like smelling sexy? Like, really, you? Really, you? Oh, 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 oh you. Oh, mm. It's all red in here. <laughs> <laughs> I got a jug of margarita. We have ginormous margaritas. <laughs> we are at the Bellagio. Gonna see O. Yes, Cirque du Soleil, oh, and Phil and Stacy, right? Yeah. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's 120 degrees outside. Well, now it says it's 117. It's cooled off. It's cooling off because it's nighttime. So we're staying cool and going to watch a water show. But we're only like three rows back. Look, show. Okay, we're not allowed to film in here when the show starts, so... After the Cirque du Soleil show, which was really cool, we just walked around a little bit more because this was our last night in Vegas and I wanted to go to the Paris Casino. We were able to take the elevator up to the top to the Eiffel Tower restaurant up there. And so we had a couple cocktails. We got to look at the lights. And then that was it for our Vegas adventure. We're gonna move on to San Diego where it's much cooler. Much cooler. <laughs>